In this video, a day trip to the gear shop in Calgary, Alberta. My Dodge Grand Caravan is about to get taller. I'm having a three inch lift kit installed. Next on the Hogtide Rising channel. Welcome to the Hogtide Rising channel, an insight into nomadic van life seen through the eyes of a long time touring motorcyclist. Good morning, Hogtide Risers. Today, I'm starting my day parked beside the gear shop in Calgary, Alberta. I spent the night here, nicely plugged in with a cord that the, the shop gave me. Why am I here? Why am I parked outside the gear shop? Well, today is a big day for my Dodge Grand Caravan. It's going into the shop and I am having a Journeys Off-Road 3-inch lift kit installed. Now, I think this is going to really help me in doing what I really like to do, and that's boondocking. It's going to give me a little more clearance. It's going to give make me it a little easier getting down logging roads and rough roads and things like that. I'm not going to be doing an awful lot of off-road because this is still just a front-wheel drive van. I don't have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, so I'm limited in that regard. But I do think that a little extra clearance will just do wonders and it will make my my journeys, my off-road journeys, a lot more pleasant, a lot easier, and will get me to a lot of places that now I'm not able to get to. So let's finish packing up the van, and let's go inside, meet the guys, write up the service order, give them the keys, and let them get to work. Well, van's sort of packed up, at least it's packed up enough that it can be moved inside. So I'm just about ready now to walk in and get things rolling. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Good. Very good. good. I'm excited about this. Oh yeah. So, do you have a work order or anything you need for me to sign, or we're yeah. good to go? I think you're good to go. Good to go, eh? Day is here. All right. Well, perfect. While we're waiting to put the van into the shop, let's take a look around the gear shop. We do have a few items of clothing, various items of camping and backcountry outdoor gear. Who knows, you might even be able to buy a canoe here. Definitely automotive accessories, tires, shocks, and a jet foil, just like the one that I use to make coffee every morning. Now they're serious off-roading. Need a new custom seat for your van? This would definitely be the place to come. So a traction system, tow straps, portable compressors, they have winches, storage packs and totes, big old fashioned jack haul, auxiliary gas fuel tanks, lighting, a rooftop tent. A sports car you want to convert to off-road? The gear shop is definitely equipped for all your needs. Off-road, on-road, anything you might need done to your vehicle. They can get you the parts. They can install the parts. They've got a fully equipped shop everything here. The Gear Shop, Aylith Grove, Calgary, Alberta. Thank <laughs> you. 
clearance on the van is pretty much what you're going to get with a, with a standard minivan. And uh, the extra three inches should take it up to approximately what an SUV would be. I'm not going to be videotaping the whole installation of the lift kit. The Journeys Off-Road has a video on their website, which I will provide a link to down below, that will show you exactly how they're installed and what all it entails. This is going to be like a before and after video of the whole installation. There it is. The van is up on the hoists and ready for the work to be done. Unfortunately, they discovered that the front struts, uh, which in effect would be the shock absorbers, are, are blown and have to be replaced. So we're just uh, right now waiting to get a price. We can give you a couple options on the uh, struts. And once we get a price, we'll order the parts and hopefully they'll get them in on time and be able to get back to work on this thing. Uh, I imagine they'll get right to work on the, the rear end of it. Life in the gear shop. A day in the life of a van lifer in the gear shop getting a lift kit installed and maybe a few other things. Such a cool sports car. Well, the work was on the van was done quite quickly. I was kind of expecting that I would be coming back here and staying here overnight just in case they weren't able to get it all done. They were thinking maybe they wouldn't have a chance to do the alignment. But anyway, the alignment is done. So this is what a three inch lift kit looks like on a Dodge Grand Caravan. So you can see the extra clearance that I get. Okay, overall I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I, it still looks good. It, what it does is it raises it up about what I'd get if I was in an SUV. If I parked this side by side with an SUV, I'd be looking at about the same amount of clearance. So this is going to make it a lot easier for me to make it down logging roads on Vancouver Island, but also when I'm out exploring the gravel roads and the back roads in uh, the Alberta and Saskatchewan prairies, it'll also allow me a little more clearance and allow me to get around and to get into some places, some interesting places that I might not have got into if I hadn't done this. So I'm quite happy with it. Now I also uh, bought a, a set of tire deflators that I'll be using on it and basically they allow you to quickly and easily deflate your tires to a preset uh, amount and uh, what they've told me is roughly I should take it down to maybe 17 psi so that's dropping about 15 psi per tire and then of course I have to be able to pump that up so I'm going to be looking for a pretty good pump that'll that'll uh, run off the battery and pump everything up overall I'm quite happy with the work uh, of course I haven't even started the van I haven't even driven the van so I don't know but let me tell you overall the look is a lot better it looks just a little more aggressive and it just looks like a van that is set up to get you places I don't it basically my van is a no build van you've seen my video before you know that I haven't put in a lot of money into building it out but I did decide to do this because performance is more important to me than aesthetic. Well, that's it. Nothing left for me to do but pack this van up and get it ready to move out and head off to my next overnight parking spot. And then on Friday, we're off to low cost auto electric to get a 300 amp alternator put in. Wow, talk about getting this thing ready for off-road boondocking. I will have everything I need short of all real drive.